Yeah. So. All right, guys, this is our, um, no, let's start over. Just keep going. what? 15.1, what? <laughs> here are our suggestions. All right, guys, here are our suggestions for open workout 15.1. Yeah, what a great, awesome announcement. Um, everybody who's not very fit is, is sitting there going, why don't you do the clean and jerks first? So basically, you got to pay to play this week. Um, as far as like redoing this workout, like man, I don't envy the people who want to do it two or three times, but uh, if you're missing your clean and jerks, you're going to have to redo the whole thing to, to do those clean and jerks. So best to be just as prepared as possible going into it. And just here's kind of our thoughts, our outlook. Um, the first nine minute AMRAP, you got your 15 toes of bar, 10 deadlifts, five snatches. Uh, watching Froney and Frazier take it on uh, and having done a lot of toe to bar workouts myself and, and blown up at times, uh, I noticed that it's more of a toe to bar workout than anything else, you know, in my opinion. Um, just the, uh, the gymnastics ninjas are going to do really well at this workout. Um, if you are phenomenal at gymnastics, uh, you know, as you saw in the workout, Froney edged out Frazier. And what it came down to, I think, was Frazier went longer doing unbroken sets. He kept doing sets of 15 a little bit longer than Rich. Um, you know, maybe that was a difference, maybe it wasn't. But basically, by that last set, you saw them. Frazier's down to twos and threes. Rich still, you know, knocked out a set of five. And that basically was a, the difference in the four reps at the end. So for a gymnastics ninja, I'd say eights and sevens, like the entire way. Just start breaking them out from the start. Um, for everybody else, you know, including myself, fives. Five drop, five drop, five drop. Um, that's going to be my strategy. I just, from plenty of experience, as soon as a toes bar go, you are doing ones, twos, and threes. There's just no way around it. Mm -hmm. uh, once your core is smashed, you're done. Um, one little tip on that movement, you know, inhale on the way down, and if you exhale as your feet come up, it allows you to crunch in a little tighter, so it can really help. Um, that's coming from, you know, a couple former gymnasts at our gym that, that showed me that little trick. So try exhaling on the way up on the toe to bar to help just kind of compress and get tighter and get your toes up there. Um, that's, that's really all I have to say. Um, you're not going fast on the deadlifts. You're not going super fast on the snatches, but you, you, know, you should be trying to do them unbroken if you're shooting for a high score on this one. And you know, deadlifts, just nice steady pace, a little bit more of a stiff legged deadlift if you want, um, just to kind of conserve your legs for the squat clean. And um, you know, on the snatches, just make sure you're getting a full lockout every time. If you're pressing out your snatches, it's going to be hard to hit that last jerk on the clean and jerk. So make sure you're not pressing those out. Um, up here on the board, we just kind of have rounds. You know, this will be your, um, you know, minutes per round if you want to achieve these numbers. I believe what Mitch, Rich, and Matt did was, um, you know, seven rounds plus they got into the the toes bar in their eighth round. So they were somewhere around, you know, minute ten and minute twelve per round which is you know, pretty much moving nonstop other than the breaks on the toes to bar. And you want to make sure you're not starting out at like 58 seconds per round and then falling off to a minute 48 up here. You want to try to guess what your, what, what, how many rounds you're going to get on the workout and stick to that pace as closely as possible the entire way. Um, then we're going into the second part, 15.1a, clean and jerks. We, we think it's going to be a smart idea to take one, maybe two reps at 115 uh, just to get used to that movement. You just did a, you, a ton of deadlifts and snatches, so it's quite different. So just get ready for that movement with an easy rep at uh, 115. And then <clears throat> for, you, you want to think about it like you have three, uh, three attempts. If you hit 90% of your best clean and jerk, that's a, that's a total score. So shoot for somewhere around 85%. 90 is going to be um, really, on the, on the real high end, your forearms are going to be smoked, your low back's going to be smoked. So shoot for something around 75, then 80, 85%. And that, those are just rough estimates. Um, Take a big jump after 115, and then hit somewhere around those percentages, and you should end up uh, doing pretty well. Anything else? Yeah, I mean, just hit the 115 <laughs> right away. You know, we're not saying rest for a minute and mm -hmm. then hit. We're saying while the bar's there and there's weight on it, just do a rep. So your first heavier rep, you don't fall on your ass. You know, just to do the movement, yep. and then you might take a pretty long break before that that first real rep. Mm -hmm. that, that's maybe you know, uh, I don't know, 60 to 70 percent of your max. Yep. You know, that first heavy bar you hit. Cool. Good luck, guys.
Word.